In this lecture, we will keep working on the examples uh, for the equation of ellipse. Let's look at this example. Find the equation of the given ellipse in the picture. So in the picture, we know so we need to find the conditions. What are given conditions? From origin, that's the center, to m prime, we know this is minor axis. So then here is 2. So actually then we know that c is 2. There is no problem about that. Okay. And then we count up to here is when c is not 2, b is 2. Ah. b is 2. c is what? c is the focal point. We are not given which one is the focal point. Ah. We are given this point. That's the minor axis, so that's B. Uh. And up to here, there are two vertices, V and V prime, there are two vertices. That's what? So A is given. Uh. A is 7. So we have A and B, and we can write down the equation. So you have an X squared plus y squared equals 1. Uh, we got to figure out where you should put a. Now in this case, y is a, a major axis. So then 7, the big one, goes down below y. Okay. So you then have a 7 squared. And the smaller one, minor x minor excess go down below x axis so that's two right here so then you have x squared over four plus y squared over forty nine is what okay so that's this example now let's look at another example this example says that find the equation again from the picture of the given ellipse with the graph on the left. In this case, we need to work a little bit more. You know, we got to find our center first. Center for the x. Ah, this is x, so that's negative 2, negative 2, okay? So you got to put negative 2 here. That's for x, you see, negative 2, negative 2, you have that. Now, for the y-axis, you got to look in the this direction. Here is 1, here is 1, so then you put 1 here. And apparently you see one, 0, here, 1, 2, uh, here is 0. 1, 2 to your left, so that's negative 2. And then one point up. Uh, that's right here. Okay, negative 2. Uh. Now you got to figure out what is our A. Well, you may write it on the middle steps here, the center. is negative 2, 1. Okay? Now, then you want to figure out what is the A. A is the major axis. Huh. From here to here, how many units? From center to the vertices, you see that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So A is 4 in this case. 
Now then you want to figure out what is the distance between the center and the minor. Uh, the intersection between the minor axis and the ellipse. And here distance is 2. Oh. So then you have a B is 2. If we have a B, then the equation can be written. Okay, you may do it in two steps, but let's do it in one step. Okay, so you then have a uh, you let's do it in two steps. So the graph without shifting. The equation is is what? This is apparently the flatter direction is along the x axis. So then what you have is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared okay, equals 1. And then you may write so the final answer or the shifted graph because the graph is shifted from the center to this place. Okay. So the shift in the graph has the equation. Equation what? X minus negative 2. Uh, X minus negative 2 is going to be X plus 2. Okay. Over 4 squared. Okay, and then plus y minus 1 over 2 squared equals 1. Or you may write the final answer 16, y minus 1 over 4 is 1. Okay. So that's the final answer. Now, this is for example F. Let's look at example G. Example G is that find the equation of the ellipse that has uh, a center at the origin. So we know the center is at the or origin. No shifting in this case. Okay. And then satisfy the given condition. Eccentricity is 3 over 7. So you know, in this case, you want to understand the, uh, eccentricity. That's what? That's the definition. Uh, e equals C over A. Uh, that's def by definition. So eccentricity is C over A. That's 3 over 7. Now vertices is 7. Uh, 0, positive, negative 7. This tells us C is given. Uh, OK. This tells us that um, vertices, in this case, uh, right, in this case, we then have a um, let's see C over A. A vertices in this case is positive, negative seven, then. This is vertices 
uh, is actually tells us A is given. Uh, yeah. A is given. If here were false, then that would be C. Uh, but here were not false, so here is actually A. A is given. So based on these two conditions, uh, then we know that A is actually 7. Eh? So then you have uh, is C over 7 equals 3 over 7. This tells us what? This tells us C has to be 3. Eh? Yeah. You know, that's a simple reason. Both sides multiplied by 7. You cancel 7, then you have C is 3. Okay. That's easy to see. Now, this is an ellipse. In ellipse, we do have a, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Uh, okay. And we have a is already 7, and c is 3. So we then have a b. Okay. b is easy to find. B squared is 7 squared minus 3 squared. Okay. So then in this case, B is 49 minus 9, which is 40. Uh, B squared is 40. All right. <coughs> now, here. We know this is 0, positive, negative 7. Uh, if you look at our uh, picture right here, 0, positive, negative 7, where is that? It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, probably somewhere here. So 0, 7, positive, 0, 7, negative. And that's vertices. So this tells us the uh, flat direction is along the y-axis. Those two are on the y-axis. Okay. You have to locate those two points. Then the equation would be what? x squared plus y squared equals 1. That's for sure. Where you should put x axis, uh, where you should put a squared. Since the vertices is on the y, you see 0, positive, negative 7 is on the y. So the big number 7 squared goes to y. And the smaller number b squared, which is 40, goes to b squared, goes to x. Okay, so final answer would be what? Would it be x over 40 plus y squared over 49 equals 1. Okay, that's the final answer. Here there is a thing I want to point out is that this eccentricity is 3 over 7. What's the meaning for that? You see, right here is defined as c over a. If this number is very small, it tells us c is much less than a. If it were small, <coughs> but if c over a is small, it tells us c is small. It then tells us B is bigger. Okay, so it then it tells us probably A and B are very close. So if excess, uh, eccentricity is very small, then A, B are close. A, B are close tells us what? A approximately equals B. So this ellipse is a, approximately like a circle. Okay, 
So if eccentricity is small, then probably uh, the ellipse is going to be like a circle. If the eccentricity is bigger, then the picture will be flatter. Uh, will be flatter because C over A is bigger. Then C is bigger from this equation. B has to be small. Uh, if B is small, then B is small, so sh less, so shorter. Minor minus minor x is, is shorter. Then the elect, ellipse is going to be flatter. Okay, so that's the reason. Okay, I'll stop here for the three examples. I'll see you next time.